started last week talking about trust as a foundation of incredibly high-performing teams, you really can't talk about conflict, you can't talk about commitment, you can't talk about accountability, you certainly can't talk about results or any of the other team dynamics until a foundation of trust is met. Now, we also talked that the first type of trust, that reliable trust, is really easy. It's very fluid. It's based on what you do. But the real strength in trust comes from starting to build vulnerable trust. That's a much different form. That's based a lot on who you are, not what you do. Now, let's also understand that this isn't done immediately, instantaneously. We don't, you know, just start one day and say, okay, everybody, let's have a meeting. And, you know, at the end of this meeting, we're going to uh, all have vulnerable trust with each other. No, it's very process-based. And, you know, there, there's no magic amount of time that I can tell you that it's going to take until you hit that vulnerable trust mark. What I can tell you is that when you hit it, you're absolutely going to know it. It, it is very feel-based. You're going to know when that vulnerable trust has been established and when it's being reciprocated by another member of your team. Now let's talk about what goes into vulnerable trust. First thing, the easiest ingredient, is you got to know about somebody. you got to know about who they are. You know, things like their family composition. Where do they come from? Parts about their history. Here's a couple. Things that they've struggled in their life. Disappointments, setbacks, challenges, successes victories. Really know about who they are, understand their style, understand their approach. Those all go into knowing who that person is. And again, it has nothing to do with job performance, job title. It really is about who that person is. Additionally, you also got to talk about when you're, when you're really establishing vulnerable trust, you have to open up. And, you know, many of you, just based on your personalities, you have you know, some folks, you say, open up and tell me about yourself. And man, they just fly wide open. You hear the whole book from, you know, born to where they are right now. Other folks are more guarded. And to the folks that are more guarded, to develop that trust, you are going to have to become more open and more comfortable with it. Now, please note, there's risk. Many of you, if not all of you, and certainly me included, have been burned when you've opened up yourself with vulnerable trust. You've shared things about yourself, maybe medical conditions, maybe something in your life, and it's come back to haunt you and haunt you in a bad way. Please, don't let those experiences taint how you choose to build vulnerable trust with your team. This benefit of incredible, incredible teamwork does have risk, but the reward so outweighs that. Now, some other ingredients that go into vulnerable trust, in addition to getting to know folks and, 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 and getting comfortable with opening up, you also have to talk openly and apologize if there's anything that you've ever done that you have to own to a team member. That's a big part of developing vulnerable trust. It also relates to accountability, which is later in the Lenscomi model. And then finally, talk about openly things that you're not very good at. That, too, is a very big part of building vulnerable trust. Look, I'm not good at details. I, I am horrible about it. Uh, I have a couple of kryptonite words uh, that I, I, I don't use correctly. Be open about that. Stop being guarded about, you know, trying to present this, I'm good at everything and I do everything well. Be open. That's part of building that vulnerable piece, and you'll be surprised how many people will reciprocate back and tell you what they're not necessarily good at or skilled at either. And then finally, get comfortable about telling your story. You know, kind of from start to end. Talk about what got you to this point. You know, really telling the who you are piece in a narrative form. That really helps establish vulnerable trust. Vulnerable trust is not about, you know, those silly trust falls or going on 10-minute walks and disclosing a couple of things about yourself. It really is process-based. And when you add those elements about, you know, letting people know who you are, about acknowledging where you're not good, when you're uh, apologizing for things, and when you get comfortable in telling your story, those are all the starting elements of building vulnerable trust. Now, within this, also be a good listener. Because as you share those things, Make sure you give room to others to share those with you as well and allow them the opportunity to build that vulnerable trust. Once unlocked, 
and I've only seen it a handful of times in 25 years of experience, but once vulnerable trust is unlocked, it is absolutely unstoppable in a team dynamic. So until next week, work on building your vulnerable trust, and, and the next time we're together, we're going to begin the process of talking about conflict in a team environment.